Hi everyone. Okay, so I've had a very interesting day. Uh, very, very interesting day at work today, but I'm going to spare you the details of that. You don't have to hear all that. Basically, um, as you all know, I am a dom. I am a dominatrix. Um, but to be more specific, I work as a pro dom. So I have done a lot of reading, um, practicing, a lot of classes, a lot of tutoring, a lot of mentoring, um, a lot of, sh you know, I've been like shadowed over and shown the ropes of <laughs> ropes. I've been shown the ropes on a lot of things involved in being a dominatrix, in BDSM, fetish, kink, um, femdom. I am an advocate of femdom because it rocks. I love it. Not saying that I would not appreciate a chivalrous gentleman. I love gentlemen. Anyone who can be considerate and loving and passionate and good to a woman gets a big check mark, a green light, whatever you call it, from me. Um, but in regards to my personal preference when it comes to uh, expression or kinky fun or just an addition to bedroom <laughs> bedroom antics, we could call it that. In regards to bedroom okay. antics, I like to include, you know, stuff. And one of the stuff is... Oh, I got a text message. Okay. Over here, um, I'm not one of, many of the stuffs are. So over here, um, I have a collection of things that I use for playing. So please, let me know which one you'd like to be used on you. Hmm. Alright. This here is like a gag ball okay it's a gag basically and this is my leash I've already done a video if you had seen a video of me um, doing pet play this was the leash I used when I did pet play it is a relatively short leash but hey so basically they put their mouth here okay and you tie the rest of this around their face okay see like that okay and then you pull them, you yank them with this. So that's what I did with pet play. Um, this leash signifies being a doggy. Um, I then also have this here. What you could also do, if I unhook this, I could screw this out. Hold on, let me screw this out. Okay, and put this in. What we have just done, basically, I don't have to do all that, is when you put this gag in the mouth, now whoever you have strapped up is going to be your toilet brush. So not only do I get a doggy, I get someone who's going to clean my toilet. Okay, now take this out. And this is a doggy dish. You can use it as a doggy dish. You can use it as a cigarette holder. You can use it as a cup holder. I've used it personally in my videos and my video shoot and pictures as a cup holder. You put this in here and again, the gag. Okay? And he's. I prefer them to kneel in front of me. So when a sub is kneeling in front of me, the cups here and I just get you know I get served and then we have I haven't used this one yet so this is yet to be used this is a brush okay so it's it's supposed to symbolize a broom but because it's so small it looks like a brush but it's actually a broom so what you would do is basically stick it in in here and they would basically sweep the floor so this is all like my little housekeeper, my little housekeeping set, plus a gag, so. 
And then for protection in regards to privacy, I have, I have an assortment, a huge assortment, and I'm planning to get more. There is the mask, okay? So I either wear it or I would have a sub wear it. The one, well, this is, this is, this is, eh. This is like what, a dollar, two dollars? The one I like to wear, I have a lot, but my one of my favorites. One of my favorites is this one. Okay? So I'm pretty sure if you go on my Facebook, this is the one you're gonna see as my profile photo. Aha! Okay, so this is my mask. No sub will touch my mask. Ooh, you don't wanna do that. Okay. I have others for myself um, that are really, really very nice, but that's one of my favorites. Now, this is a hood. I have the sub who's with me for their protection and privacy. If they want to take pictures, if they're open to taking pictures and doing videos, but they do not want their identities revealed, this is typically what I do. I put them in the hood. Um, another thing about the hood is... Although some may not mind their identity being revealed, this is just another way of keeping them in check. So a hood can symbolize all sorts of things. It could be for privacy. It could be for just be making them more in tune with their submissive self. So I have this. This is something I learned in one of my submissive um, not submissive, my dominatrix training courses. So as I was going through the whole f um, thing of learning more about this thing that I love so much, one of the tricks that I was taught was rather than using, um, rather than using this, why don't you just use this? See that? That's crazy glue. Okay, so what we did um, as part of our practice was in regards to CBT, cock and ball torture or cock and ball torment, a lot of people use rope or use the gates of hell. Whatever form of bondage, you know, or torture you want to do <clears throat> to the balls and the dick. But there are techniques that I have learned with using crazy glue. Of course, I will try my best, and I've been taught to not stick myself to the actual submissive person or slave that I'm using. Um, but I could actually, I was, I was shown to make you look like you don't have dick or balls to begin with. We will just tuck this in and glue it shut right there. You have been made uh, a sissy. You practically have a vagina with the little line that's going to look like this over there when, when we're done, you know, using this stuff. I thought that was phenomenal. I was like, oh my God, that is hilarious. And the reason why crazy glue is preferred is because within six hours, six hours or more, it basically wears off. That way, whoever's penis that you glued up might end up, you know, being normal again and they get to go take a piss again and all that great stuff. But in the meantime, during play, this is what was given to us. Um, I, I bought a whole bunch of that. They recommend don't use any other glue and don't you even dare say that Mistress Geneva sent you to use a whole bunch of different glues because those other glues, they actually work. I'm not even trying to make it sound like crazy glue isn't a good glue, but those other glues, they actually stick to the balls and the dick, and for days and days, the cock ain't gonna function. Like, it's gonna be stuck, okay? So please don't use a glue that works. Use a glue that doesn't work. If you need to learn to use one, I will be holding courses or classes or seminars, whatever you need, come to me, we will discuss it. Rope. I don't know that many dominas, I don't know that many dominatrixes or you know, femdom, powerful women, Amazon goddesses, whatever you want to call it. I rarely know anyone who doesn't have rope. Okay? You could get them. If you on like that broke person mode, go to Home Depot. Go to Walmart. I don't like Walmart, by the way. But 
if you're going through a hard patch and you really want to get your kink on, you can find stuff at these, you know, low budget places. Go to Ace Hardware. But if you have enough money for, you know, very sexy, colorful, very exotic rope, yeah, go ahead, go online. There's a bunch of kink stores. Go to Purple Passion. Why not? That's in New York City, by the way. All right, this is when I first started, and this is like, I don't know, $14, $15, $20, $30. It's, it, this is my first vlogger, and reason why I'm keeping it is because, number one, it's my first vlogger. Number two, look at the bedazzles. Look at the bedazzles. I love it. So, you know, I still use this in my photo shoots because it's my first vlogger, and I love it. You know, you never forget your first. You know, as, 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 and it actually does hurt. Oof. Do that a few times and see what color your hand ends up. Oof. I don't mind that, actually. That was all just an effect to show you that it would hurt. But I like aggressive. Trust me. I do. Okay. Now, this bag, reason why I put this in the bag is because I don't like my stuff all messed up everywhere. Like, I could probably have a messed up room, but I need my kink stuff where it has to be. I, I, I don't like walking in and there's a crop or a flogger or a, a clothes peg on the floor. I, ooh. Okay, so, I use this in one of my videos. Like, you know, nipple, nipple, or, hey. So, basically, what happens with this is, um... Wait, wait, wait. Ah, ah. So, <laughs> I'm going to stop all blood circulation to my nose right now. Ah. Mm. Basically, with these, what you do is, um, when you have the sub, you uh, basically put it on his nipple. You could put it on his cock. You could put it on his neck, his face. You could put it anywhere in his body. And basically, it does have a slight ting that's like, Ow. Especially if you put it in a very sensitive area. It is really hard to like move my upper lip properly. This this feels weird. But for comical relief, ah, uh, ah, uh, okay, okay, get off, get off. Ah, the fuck? So, God, I felt that. Okay, these don't like... It hurts. There's a sting, undeniable, because blood flow isn't going through to the certain destinations that they are input. Now, the thing, though, is... So they don't hurt as much, but they do... You can feel it. This is an affordable piece of play. So if you are with your boyfriend and you don't really have that much cash to buy expensive gifts, honestly, sweetheart, I think you can afford clothing pegs. Okay? Clothing pegs. Alright. So I have a whole bag full because I love them. They're fun. Ah. Ugh. Now, another thing if you're on a budget. I recommend this to everybody. Because people um, think that you have to have crazy money to be a goddess. But uh, if you know anything about having like a you ever lived with a Medea like Big Mama like Grandma anybody anybody who grew up with somebody who is a disciplinarian knows that they got a belt they got a ruler or they got a hairbrush or a kitchen spoon and you know mama ain't gonna take nothing from nobody she about to whoop your ass you best believe you better start running so this, because I do have a paddle, but there is nothing like a brush. Seriously. And, you know, it gives the sub that the masochist who's enjoying this treatment, it gives him a sense of home. What mommy used to do to him. You've been a bad, bad, bad boy. Now count how many spanks I give you. Count it. If you don't count it, I'm not going to stop. 
I'm not gonna stop. You better count it to the number that I want. I want it at 200. Then I'm gonna rub it with my hand. I'm gonna tell you how much of a good boy you are for doing what mommy wants. Ain't that right, baby? Say? All right. Another thing you could do if you're on a budget is... Ta-da! Can you see it? I hope I don't get in trouble. I'm not trying to promote them or anything, but any form of dog food that you find is... What did this expire? Oh, okay. 2014. I'm good. <laughs> any form of dog food. This is for pet play. Okay? Because I like having puppies. I, have, I like having puppies and ponies. I'm not big on having pigs yet. Um, anyone who wants to be my pig will either have to do it at their place or at a motel. Alright, so any future clients out there, please don't ask to come to my place and be a pig. If you know what it takes to be a pig, you know why I don't want it at my place. Stink up the whole joint. But, um, puppy play I've done here. I have a, the video that I have of puppy play playing fetch is actually in my living room. So, that's nothing. So, doggy food... You get that anywhere. This I got at a store. <laughs> you get it at any adult store, to be honest. All right. Let me see if you can see that. These are cock rings. Okay. I basically got it clear because I wanted to match any color of the individual that I'm with. So it could be a Caucasian, an Asian, Hispanic, African American, I don't know, Eskimo, whatever. It could be anyone and I, I, I personally like the color meshing with their um, penis. So, a cock ring. It is essential for every goddess to have a cock ring. Um, you want to restrict uh, seminal fluid, did I say that right? Right. And blood through the penis. Or even make them hard enough for you to work with. You understand? Because some people, their dicks are just that small. You little dick boy. You have a baby dick. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, this actually complements the other thing. This, I haven't used it yet. Go figure. Um, I'm so busy doing fetish, I have no time for vanilla. Seriously. It is a dildo. Now, remember this? Remember this? So you have the sub, put his mouth in here, and then stick this in. <laughs> stick it in. And then, he actually gets to stick it in. Ah, ah. You get it? So, so that's one way of um, chastity and cuckolding can work together. Um, you can have uh, a sub use the dildo on you while he's gagged. And fact is, because of that, because he's not the one that's actually penetrating you with his own penis, he's going to end up wanting to do it, but he can't because what you want is this. And that's another way of torturing him. And it's part of, you know, the whole scene. That's what you want to do. That's what, that's what you guys are trying to do. So, to mind fuck. To sexually mind fuck him. Alright. I have another gag piece here. Yeah. If you don't get it by now, here, notice that I need you to shut the fuck up when I'm playing with you. When, when I ask a question and say, do you want this? This is your mistress. Do you hear me now? This is what we're going to do. Then you can respond. Aside from that, shut the bloody fuck up. Okay? I don't, don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. I deal so much with bullshit people talking. I don't need you to talk to. Shut the fuck up. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. 
I'm not kidding. You have no idea. Shut the fuck up. Don't smile. Don't say shit. Okay. This is another gag. It has a micro penis. You see that? It actually has a ridge in here. This is a micro penis. So they would actually be sucking on the micro penis, okay? And be strapped up. This goes around the head like, you know. So that's another one of my toys. This is my vampire glove. I have not used it yet because although I have access to a couple masochists, a masochist is a sub or a slave who can take a good beating. They like being spanked and flogged and kicked around. A masochist is someone who takes in the physical abuse. Sometimes they actually ejaculate or they want to ejaculate because of the physical abuse. They get they get off on that. Not all of not all of them will no. A whole lot of them need your permission before they come. Okay? I'm just saying it's part of the thing. They can actually withstand the physical abuse. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying everybody's gonna have cum shots everywhere. No, 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 no. So, I don't know if you can see this. There are spikes. You see the spikes? Can you see it? There are spikes on the glove. This is a vampire glove, okay? So what you do with this is you get to spank, you could spank his ass, you could slap, you could sl scratch your hand across the back. Basically, do it in places where people will not see, as in the, like a work environment. So do it on his butt, maybe a bit on his back, grab the cock, um, on his thighs, do not be harsh with the face because people show their face when they go out. So do not be harsh with this on the face. If you're going to hit the face, use your hand, your plain hand, and slap. Don't use a vampire glove. I would not recommend it. If you have a sub who ain't got a job and he's home all day, all right, use this. But anyone who goes outside, you know, because it's not right for them to look that way if they're going to work because the boss is going to wonder what the hell happened. But the back, the butt, definitely the cock, the chest maybe. Yeah, just, you know, you could just... Ooh, ooh. It's fun. It's fun. So, I hope you can see that. I hope you can see that. Is the light shining on it? Can you see it? Err. Okay, so. That's my vampire glove. All right, gotta take this off now. Show you the rest of my goodies. You want my goodies? Say you want my goodies. Ah, uh, you so bad. All right. Um, this is a basic blindfold. You know, just a basic peekaboo. That's it. Um. Oh, for age play or you know just being being a baby. This is a diaper. This is an adult diaper. So, you know, wah, wah, mommy, wah. And, you know, what I like about this, it, it actually has the line. I don't know if you can see that. The line across the middle, if someone actually does wet themselves, you actually see the line. It turns blue, I think, when they done, like, doing their duty. And, um, plus that goes, you know, you have to have, I have baby wipes. You just gotta, some people would like a pacifier. They like baby wipes, pacifier, diaper, and the, the they role play the whole baby scene. And your mommy, and you just take care of the baby. You know, 
Then there is this. All right, I hope you can see that. That is duct tape. What I do is, um, over the mouth, it would suck because it would hurt when you rip it off. But in regards to the rest of the body, when because there is such a play where you duct, I have two or three of these. That way, there's enough to cover a human body. Although, in the amount in here, should be sufficient actually to take care of two to three people. The amount here, when done properly, can actually wrap two to three average size, average build, let's say between 5'7 to 5'10 and around 200 pounds. This can do that to two to three people. Just this, okay? Duct tape. Now the thing is, I wouldn't recommend doing solely the duct tape. I would recommend first getting this, okay? This is Saran Wrap. You could use any brand of Saran Wrap you want, as long as it is Saran Wrap. What I would recommend first is to use the saran wrap, wrap the body of the individual. When you're done wrapping from shoulder to neck downward, if you want, you can include the face, but make sure to leave hole in the mouth or hole in the nose for breathing, okay? Wrap first with saran wrap, and then wrap the rest of the body now with the duct tape. So this first, to protect the skin and the hair of the human. Just because you're a dominatrix doesn't mean you gotta be an uber bitch, okay? We ain't trying to fuck them up with this. This is fucked up. Yes, it's good to be fucked up. That's, that's why we're into this. But you don't want to actually damage skin. Some people's skin is really dry. Some people's skin is really hairy. And you don't want to, like, start ripping up shit. Some people do lose skin. So please don't use the duct tape directly because no one knows if you're doing short-term play or long-term play. If your play scene goes for more than an hour or up to an hour, and which that, that's what happens to me. It happens to me. And I haven't been in the game for three, four, five years. No, no, no. I have not. So I fully know that it is safer, smarter, better, wiser to put in the glad, put in the saran wrap first across the whole body. Wrap him. Wrap him up. Wrap him up. If you want to be fucked up, oil him up first. Put oil. That way when you wrap him up and then put this, they get to sweat. That You can look at that as a fucked up move. You know what I'm saying? Like, just don't do this only. That's all I'm saying. Please. And, and if you do, don't tell them that I sent you to do that, because that's a damn lie. Don't tell them I sent you to do just this. Don't do that. So, wrapping this, and you know, just for kicks, you could just leave them wrapped up there. And they're going to cry and beg. And you can sit there, and you'd be like, ha ha, I have saran wrap and duct tape all over you. And you can't do not a damn thing about it. So, rather than have a huge investment on getting a whole um, straight jacket you can invest on duct tape this is an affordable way for a, a woman to be the femdom that she can be for the man in her life or the sub or slave in her life you understand I'm just trying to help whoever out can get that going okay I'm not saying that everything is affordable I'm not saying get everything. I'm showing you the toys that I have that were within my budget because I am still extending my wardrobe or my, my tools and my gears. I'm still extending it. I have fun when I shop for these things. I really do. And this is just the beginning of it. You need to see what I have. Um, oh, I have a second one, but it's not here right now. I lent it to a master. I do have friends who are mistresses and masters. As much as there seems to be a clash between gender, and, you know, men and women, um, be cool. Just be cool. There, just because you are a superior being doesn't mean you got to be a douchebag. 